Hi, my name is Douglas Peacock and welcome to our healing page. Thanks for stopping by and taking the time to have a, to watch this video. Um, in return, I'd like you to, uh, to receive a gift by just allowing yourself to allow the energy to flow through you and allow it to clear away anything that may be holding you back right now. Um, the reason I put this video together is one, so you could get to know a little bit about me and to see whether I resonate with you and with, whether you think it would be a good fit for working together. I'm originally from New Zealand. I live in Australia here now on the lovely Gold Coast. Um, been here for over 25 years and uh, I haven't always done healing work. Before the, my life is uh, doing healing and coaching work, I, I used to be a plumber. I had my own plumbing business and in 95 I had uh, six guys working for me and I used to do course, small commercial work and luxury housing. Um, at that time I was in a not that great a place. My life was sort of, yeah, I, I had the business going okay, um, the guys were working, um, but my marriage was struggling, and I, I actually hated plumbing. And so I was asking for guidance on how the heck can I get out of this. Um, and I didn't have to wait too long because about February then next year, uh, a builder I was working for, who I had a lot of work with, uh, went bankrupt. And in doing so, he financially. Um, took me out and so I was struggling along after that trying to get my plumbing business back off the ground and um, then my wife at the time our marriage had just gone and got into worse uh, more stress and just wasn't working and she said that she's out of here and uh, so she left um, two months after that after trying to get the business back together and get the marriage back together using the same old ways that I'd always done just by trying to force and make things happen um, I actually physically collapsed on a building site and I was on this building site on my own so the, um, and when I collapsed I passed out for at least a, an hour or so um, and coming back too I didn't even have enough strength to get up and walk to the truck I actually had to crawl, my, crawl back to the truck uh, but in that breaking in the collapsing on the ground something opened up inside of me where all of a sudden I could just see and I could just see energy around people and um, uh, I began to see the auras and and I could see all sorts of things. I could see the energy around trees, plants, and all that sort of stuff. Um, and I knew something had happened, but I didn't really know what. And so a friend of mine suggested I go see the spiritual counsellor because I didn't want to go see a psychologist because for me back then, I didn't think I was nuts. I didn't think I was crazy or anything. And I didn't, you know, there's there my beliefs around psychologists. And it's, I know it's not true, but that's how, that's how I was, where I was back then. Um, so I went and saw the spiritual counsellor and he became my first guy, uh, teacher teacher in the way of understanding energy and understanding consciousness and how it worked I had many sins but he was a he was, he was a great catalyst you know when you when you're ready the right person turns up for you and anyway so uh, he, he started helping me understand what was going on uh, through his advice and some other uh, another healing lady that I was working with at the time she told me to go and do because uh, I wanted to learn how to do healing what now how does this energy work stuff work and they said you go you need to go and learn and so I went to uh, they told me to go to this uh, spiritual church there where they did hands-on healing and I, and I went there and I said okay I want to be a healer and I wanted to learn how to do this healing and I said okay first thing you got to do is have one so I lay, lay on the table and they run their hands all over my body and and I lay and all of a sudden I just sat up and said I remember everything you know it's just like I remembered I was going wow this is really quite cool so I um uh, I got up, and, you know, I never got back there, but I could just recall. And then, funny thing is, people started coming to see me, and they'd say, "Hey, Doug, you do a healing on me." I went, "Yeah, not a problem." And for me, I didn't have a clue what I was doing, but I, my hands were moving, and this just stuff was going on. I could just see stuff, and and they were having, you know, great results. They were feeling better. Their mind was getting clearer. They, um, the problems were disappearing, and so I just continued on down that pathway, and that was the beginning for me, you know. Um, and my first teacher then. It me, you know, Doug, there's a place in America called the Munro Institute. He says it's a great place for you to go um, to open yourself up more, to get more understanding. So that's where I went, and that's where my life really took off and started changing. Uh, because while I was there, you know, there was like 25 to 30 people at this place, and the, you know, because you got it's, it's an energy place, it's about doing. Um, getting out of your body, doing astral traveling and uh, all that sort of stuff. So, you know, it was really interesting to me at the time. And so when I, when I was there, um, 
there was this lady and she she became quite ill and he got over and doing this healing work on them and you know they they were trying everything and nothing was working and back then I used to be pretty rough you know I was, I was a real bloke you know just male chauvinist pig would probably describe me quite well um, and and that's basically how I was I was rough and ready rough around the edges but and um, so no one was having any help and then they said well get ask Doug he could do it and and you know this lady and I didn't really see eye to eye very well and then finally they someone come and asked me if I'd do it and yeah I went over to her and I said yeah I can help you know I'll have a go at helping you I don't I can't promise anything but what happened is I said oh yeah I can see there's a post in your chest it's just, just like this big square post in your chest here and I said that's what your problem is and she says asked her other friends who are healers and I said well I can't see anything and I said, oh, not my problem, it's your, you know, um, but if you want me to help me. And he said, well, what would you do? And I said, I'll just pull it out. And I reached over and I just pulled it out of her chest. With that, she collapsed back into her chair. And, uh, well, that, and I just wandered off. Twenty minutes later, um, they came over and found me. And I said, yeah, what? Well, and, and she says, I'm totally, I'm totally fine. Everything's cleared up. And that's where it sort of ends. And that's when I realized I could see a little bit more than what other people generally see. So... That's how it started. Um, I've seen all sorts of things happen. I've seen people get eyesight back. I've seen tumours shrink. I've, I've, I've helped people pass over to go to the other side uh, when they're ready to die. And for me, it's not about curing an illness. It's about getting the person to come to peace with where they're at with that. And then in, the, in that place, it creates the possibility for the illness to dissolve. And, you know, I've studied a lot of quantum physics now and um, the neuro pathway, studied NLP, um, done Reiki, done hypnosis, done um, kinesiology, all these different techniques to get you to the same place. But, you know, the number one thing for me is we're healing. It's just sitting in the energy of love. And, you know, much the same, uh, the way I see it is when you shine consciousness or light into the darkness, the darkness must leave. And that's all that a blockage is. And so what I do when I work with people, um, and if you choose to work with us, what I do with you is I shine through awareness into where you're holding yourself trapped or where the disconnect is and we're able to realign you and to get the energy to start flowing again and to open you up to for you to your full potential to what you're wanting to achieve one of the biggest things that we do is just really let you become at peace with yourself and come into acceptance with yourself in doing that you set yourself free um, you know, we, yes, I do past lives work. Yes, I did work with the Lords of Karma. Yes, we've done alien stuff, can do alien stuff. Yes, um, do genetic repatterning. Yes, I can do all those sorts of things. Yes, I've done psychic surgery. Yes, 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 done all that sort of stuff. But, you know, for me, it's just about sitting in the love with you. And when we do that, that's where the power comes. And you can open up and set yourself free. And as you're feeling the energy there, now just laying free, you know, just to let it do the work. Don't get in the way. Just be. There is no, there is no right or wrong. You know, there's a, a way that we look at it in our, we teach in our mastery classes is there is no success or failure. There's only mastering the experience. And it's the same when you're doing a healing and, and having a healing, receiving, receiving a healing. It's about mastering the experience of what you've read what you've been doing, what have the lessons been. Yes, you get communicated on the emotional level, on the mental level, and the cosmic level, um, and the soul level. And if you don't listen, you get it on the physical level. That's usually when the bus hits you, or the tr- Mack truck, so to speak, and goes, hey, wake up, we're trying to communicate here. You know, I had that. Um, but, you know, it's, 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 not, it's not bad. It just is. Uh, at the time, yeah, it sucked. Now, years later, it was great best thing that ever happened to me um so one of the things that I, I really want you to do i've got these photos here of a lady that um i did a healing with and this is this is going back a few years and, and on the first one here if you notice there's a little bit of light here the, 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 the strands coming down there's a little bit of mental fatigue out in the uh, a mental layer, layer and it's just showing up in aurora so that, you know it's just a matter of cleaning that away and then you look down the bottom here there's this dark stain that come across here and that what there was going on down there was just this uh, emotional energy of, of a responsibility and it was starting to get into the intestines and it was like old 
you know, for want of a better word, old shit she was hanging on to, and she needed to release it because it was caught up in her emotions, and she was starting to feel gluggy and becoming all clogged. She was starting to get the physical symptoms of things going along. In cleaning this out, she was able to um, move on, and, and then the energy just cleared. Um, it hadn't yet manifested in the uh, physical plane. Um, it was still on the emotional, uh, mental and emotional. The red in her aura has had to do with the discontent um, that she was feeling, and you know, she was she was a little bit, how do we say, unhappy, maybe a little bit stressed or fired up. But you know, um, that's cool. Uh, so the second picture here, this is a picture straight away after the healing. Um, what you'll notice is the dark shadow has gone from across her waist there, her heart chakra is opened up and flowing, and she is surrounded in green and white healing energy. Um, the tears in her field up around the mental fatigue up around the head there they're gone and and the last of the emotional unrest down her right side here is dissolving we, we took these photos just to see what it looked like Ew, most people don't see with their normal eyes they just feel better so we just thought we'd take these photos so that you could get an idea of what it would look like of someone before and after a healing just thought they may be interesting for you to see what happens now the way that I work is I tend to do the healings over the phone or over Skype and when you call in you, know, you, you get a set time you call in and, and when you call in we just go you know hey how are you going what's up what's your intention what is it that you're wanting to get out of this healing and you just give me a quick brief on outgoing and and as we're having that little bit of chat at the start I, I tune in because see where you're wanting to be or where, what's going on and then basically what happens is I just follow the energy you know and if there's something that you need to be told specifically you'll tend to tell me you know and the way that's the way it works so you got an understanding of how I understand it works as I come up out of here and I'm just sitting in my heart self I'm just an, an open vessel your consciousness comes your heart, your soul, your uh, higher self comes over and it says, "Hey, Doug, I need to hear this," and, and you tell me something, and, and I'll go, "Hey, X, Y, Z," and you go, "Damn, how did you know?" And, well, you told me, and and that's basically how it, how I get the communication going. Um, yes, I see things going on, and I will move it on different dimensions to adjust it, um, and it's about holding you still. Uh, one of the things that I do is I hold very still inside, and I, it's just like I become like a mill pond, and when you have a thought or something happens, it's like a pebble dropping into a mill pond, and, and that's how I'm able to tune in and, and create whatever it is, no matter where you are in the world. If, we're, if you decided to do an abs and healing, that's where you don't get on the phone, and, and you can just uh, book a time and at that set time I will uh, either work over a massage table or um, sit in a chair and it's as if you're sitting there and I will go through and I'll scan where you are um, and, and the way that that works is I get your name, your, your date of birth, where you were born and where you're living now and what that does is make sure I get the wrong, right person because there's more than one you know John Smith in the world so I've got to make sure I get the right person so we, we're tuning in and I lock into you and then what we do is I do the healing as if you're there and in doing that, the, the advantage of having an absent healing to one over the phone is you, your mind can't get in the way. You can't uh, try to control it on what's going on. So that, that there is an advantage to that. Some people don't feel as comfortable about that, and, and that's okay too, because um, they want to have the connection with me. Um, they want to have the be able to hear my voice or see me on Skype or whatever it is, and and, and I, I'm totally fine either way. But as far as it goes for the absent healing, you're able to just you know just lay down and you know, on your bed, have a nap or sit down and meditate, whatever it is, and allow the energy to do the work. And in doing that, what I'll do is I'll send you an email afterwards of uh, what I saw and um, what what was the things that happened, um, and and you know. Just a quick story about the Ebsen healing. You know, I had a young boy, and he he was having trouble sleeping. And his mother um, his mother rang me up and asked me to do do the healing on him. And so, okay, not a problem. I'll do it while he sleeps tonight. And it really surprised me because there was a real strong energy entity there with him. And you know, we I sort of wrestled with this entity to get it out, and and, and it left. And you know, long story short, it left. Um, she rang me the next day. She says, "What the heck happened?" And I says, "Oh, why?" I says, oh, "The energy was quite strong, and but you know, it, we we got it out, and um, you know, I had to. It was a bit of a wrestle, but we got there, you know, and I got it out, and uh, and, and um, it left." And she said, um, "His 
you know, I went into his bedroom in the morning. There he was sleeping very peacefully. Best he's ever seen him sleeping. And he, he's there, but his whole room was trashed. He says the, the, the drawers were knocked over. He says the window was blown open and the, the fly screen was out, outside on the ground. He says, what the hell happened? And I says, well, I was an entity that I was, I was wrestling with and it didn't really want to leave. Um, so we were uh, coercing it to leave. Um, and so I dare say that must have been the energy going on. And, and for me, it was like, wow, that's pretty cool. <laughs> I didn't think that happened, but, you know, that's where we're at. So, um, and this just shows you the power of the absent healing, because he wasn't there talking to me or anything like that, but that's what happens. So, uh, is it effective? Damn right it is. Um, and, I, yeah, I use it on a lot of people, and um, it's especially good for people when they have English isn't their strongest uh, language, and you have a little bit of trouble with my accent, and I have trouble with your accent when you're talking, so you don't get the frustration going on. Uh, now the energy alignment, uh, what's the difference between an energy alignment and the healings in there? And the energy alignments are a set program. You know, you do three sessions uh, and um, these sessions are a little bit longer than a standard healing um, because we go, you've got a specific uh, problem or a specific obstacle that you're dealing with and we need to go in deep and there needs to be a profound shift in you. Um, what happens here is we need to unpack all the mindset uh, psychology of what's going on with it. you know so what do you believe in well, what's what's actually going on then we then we um, once we do that then we get in uh, that happens on the first day and basically what I'm talking about here is we're clearing all the crap off the top of the table you know energetically we're taking the stuff off and we're opening you up then what I do is do a, a healing the next day or within two days and it takes you deeper down into the unconscious um, patterns and energetic uh, misalignments that you have and we're able to go so much deeper because you've opened up and in doing that um, you then begin to start aligning because the heart and the, the mind and the heart are out of alignment and as, as what we do is we're bringing them into alignment so we can get the um, you in flow so that you're getting the results that you want. Now on the last one what we do on the last day because it's it a three stage, three stage process the first day we do a lot of the stuff on the surface and we get down into the depth of it and then the last one is about where you go and end up and it's about taking you as deep as I can into a space of peace a space of love and that's where the power of the, the alignment is where you are resting in this deep acceptance um, so, so that's just basically a little bit about the healing healings that I do there um, what I want you to do there now is you've listened to that and I want you to allow yourself to think about it and, and you know, just really connect with yourself and ask, you know, do I resonate with you? Because I am not for everybody. But one thing it is, is I know I get results. I tend to be pretty straight down the line. I don't muck around and go candy flossy. I am straight up. But it's uh, in doing that, we cut the bullshit out and we get you to where you really want to be. Um, so if that's what it feels like, if it feels right to you, then hey, click on the link, um, book a time, uh, and um, I'd lo love to have a chat to you. But while you're there, just before you finish up there, just allow yourself to finish bathing in that energy and give thanks. Hand over anything that you didn't really need to be hanging on to and just set it free. So thank you, take care, and I look forward to talking to you soon.